question from Kay Brown. Some brewers lower their pH just before knockout to get their lager pH down below five. Wondering the procedure for doing it on 15 to 17 barrels on knockout. Good question. So we are doing that. Um, and, and if you want to, you might see your kettle pH. I mean, maybe your kettle pH is like five, two, five, four, who knows, uh, at the beginning of the boil or even toward the end. If you do, we'll take a, um, we'll take a, a, a pH measurement. We will add phosphoric acid to it, like even during the whirlpool. So we'll, we'll drop pH at whirlpool. Even I would start low and then, uh, move up. Um, I can't give you volumes because your water is going to be different than mine and it, it will have different buffering capacity. And so you might have to add more or less than me. Um, but maybe you take a sample of it and, and do like a small dose test and then like, you know, scale up some things like that. But I would say always shoot low and then add more, right? Um, rather than just like crashing it down to like four or three. I mean, what kind of brewer would just be crashing things down to like four, three? What do you use to adjust your pH up? Uh, I have used um, food grade slaked lime uh, to adjust um, to adjust up uh, pH. I, I, did, I had to do that on a fruited pastry stout, and it was down at three eight. I adjusted it up to like four three, four four. Uh, with uh, with the help of uh, the, the the wonderful fella out at Beechwood Brewery and Barbecue, uh, Julian Schrago, um, I took his stuff and uh, and it it it, uh, it bumped it back up and made it juicy, baby, made it good. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're gonna maybe be over here, or over here. Appreciate you watching.